Hello, this is Michael Devlin with the Michael Devlin Group in Keller Williams, Silicon City. And this is a quick what's going on in Morgan Hill for single family homes in June of 2018. There were 45 closed sales of single family homes in June of 2018 in the city of Morgan Hill. That's down about 27% year over year. The median price was $1.02 million, which is an increase of about 12% year over year. Median days on market was only nine. And on average, people got 4% more than what they were um, asking when they sold their homes. When we look at the days on market, you can see there's wide fluctuations as we go back, depending upon how many homes are on the market for longer periods of time. We'll throw the median off. Um, however, still, we're talking about a extreme seller's market still in terms of how quickly people's homes are selling. 4% over list price um, is a, 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 a healthy market for sellers. In a typical normal market, people would be getting a little bit less than what they're asking for. But you have to be careful of averages. Although the average is 4% over list price, there was a home in Ranger Court in Morgan Hill that sold for $192,000 more than what it was listed for. That was a 35% increase. On the other hand, a house on Evening Star last month sold for $98,000 less than what they were asking for. Um, so your mileage may vary. You have to look at individual properties to see whether or not it's going to go for more or not. The average might be 4%, but there's a wide variation. The median price was $1.02 million. The most expensive home in Morgan Hill last month sold for $2.2 million. $2 million. And the least expensive home sold for 470000 Nine days on market was the median days on market. However, 159 was the days, the longest days on market. And zero days, when you see that, it represents a real estate agent who's listed a home, did not put it in the multiple listing service. There's an agreement that when you do that and it sells, you put in the sales information so other agents will know what it sold for. It can serve as a comparable. That would mean mean zero days in the MLS. It may have been on the market for 30 days or 60 days. We don't really know, but we know that it was put into the MLS and immediately reported as sold. There were 61 new listings in Morgan Hill in last month, uh, 45 sales. We're starting to see an increase in inventory where we're having more listings than we are actually having properties leave the market from being sold. If you're ready to cash out, you should know that the market is shifting. It's getting softer. It's still a seller's market. The value of your home has undoubtedly changed in the last month. If you'd like to uh, know by how much, let me know. I'll be happy to provide you with that information. If you're worried about selling and having to pay capital gains tax, there are more options than you may think. Again, I'd be happy to share that information with you. And basically, I offer people a free confidential consultation on what not only what their property is likely to sell for and how to avoid paying capital gains tax, but other techniques for, for netting the most money when you sell your home. If you're thinking of buying, move quickly because interest rates are going up. Each time interest rates go up by 1%, it robs you of about 10% of your purchasing power as a buyer. That means that if you qualify for the same mortgage payment today that would buy you a million-dollar home after a 1% rise in interest rate, you'll only be able to have a $900,000 home, and yet you still have the same mortgage payment. That's $100,000 of lost equity once interest rates go up one point. If you'd like some strategies for how to negotiate the best price possible in today's market, let me know. I recently sold a property to buyers where our offer was $50,000 less than the highest, and we got it anyhow. There are ways of doing that. If you're interested, call me for a free consultation. That's what I look like, Michael Devlin Group. If you're, um, check out my website, devlinrealestategroup.com. You can get an instant valuation of your home. You can look at new homes. You if you're interested in getting into real estate, I have a real estate school and there's a link to that there. You could also search for homes. Check it out. Any, if you would like to talk, I would love to talk real estate with you.